Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me this afternoon is Joe Pulvermacher, your fire chief for Fitchburg Fire Rescue. Sir, how are you doing? I'm doing well today. How are you? I'm glad to have you back on the show. I'm glad Always to be a pleasure. here. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Uh, we're talking today uh, uh, a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to talk today about... Uh, uh, something that you've completed, um, which is a nice honor. Nice honor for yourself, nice for the city of Fitchburg, uh, and I don't want to steal your thunder, so uh, take us down here. It says right here, Chief Completes uh -huh. International Professional Designation Process. Yes. What are we looking at here? So the, uh, the Chief Fire Officer process um, is one that looks at a number of different things. It takes a look at... Uh, some of the, the strides that have been made in education, uh, looking at community service, looking at professional development. Um, I've been uh, passively working on this uh, even before my arrival here in Fitchburg, uh, but it seemed to appropriate to, to complete the, um, the assessment, and, and that's what it is. It's basically a third-party assessment uh, that provides me with some very real feedback as far as what I can improve as a fire service leader and some of the things that I can do for uh, professional development. Yeah, so, it says uh, here that uh, you have to demonstrate an excellent in seven measured components, including experience, education, professional development, professional contributions, association membership, mm -hmm. and community involvement, and technical. Wow. Yes. <laughs> add, add that in there. No, that, right. Yeah, seven different things, right? Seven. That is seven different things. Uh, uh, but I'll, uh, and I'll say this is, this is a great accomplishment for you, but uh, if you've we know that uh, you're involved, uh, you know, you've helped with the emergency management stuff. We know you're involved in, in helping uh, improve things anywhere that you possibly can. And I think this uh, this just shows that next level that we want in a fire chief. Well, I, I, I do appreciate the fact that uh, that we were able to, to pursue this designation. Um, I say we. I mean, I'm, I'm not a, a person who exists by myself. I have mm -hmm. a lot of support. Uh, but that said, uh, the, the initiative uh, was, was started uh, in order to, to hopefully make uh, or help me establish my, my leadership and, and take it to the level that I think it needs to be and beyond. It's only, a, and I say only, it's only a three-year designation. I have to reapply and be recertified every three years. And I, I actually like that part of it because what it suggests is I'm not holding on to something that I accomplished and never think about it again. It really does force me to continue in the way of professional development and, and experience and, and education. So uh, all, of, all of that uh, really does provide for what ended up to be a, a really decent experience. How is the stuff that you're doing with this applied to the stuff you've taken, done here at the city of Fitchburg with the fire department? Well, I've, I've used uh, this model a couple of different times in what we do because uh, it's not a matter of uh, it's not a matter of trying to address things for uh, one situation. You really try to make it um, something that can be repeated and duplicated. So the the model that uh, CIPSI, the Center for Professional or, uh, Public Safety Excellence. Um, the, the model that they use really does force you to take a look at your process and whether others can use it in the way of succession planning. Um, as far as the future goes here, you said that you got to keep it, keep it up to date, but uh, what are some of the things that uh, you'll be working on uh, that coincides with this uh, as you do continue in the next three years? Well, what I'm attempting to do is some graduate level work that allows me to do some uh, applied research in the city of Fitchburg. What, I, what I've found to be quite helpful is that uh, the schooling that I've attended in the past, I've been able to directly apply to, to wherever I'm employed. Um, and those are the educational opportunities that I'm looking for now. So not only something that benefits me, but ultimately benefits the community that I represent. Uh, I think there you have you have return on investment because you're not talking about the theoretical. You're actually applying your skills and, and putting your education to, to good use immediately. So that's one of the things that I've, I've put out there as far as professional development. 
I think uh, in public safety, uh, uh, we see a lot of the, the cross training that happens through here. So by you having this designation and being able to pass it on down through the ranks, I think that uh, that is a huge success for the fire department. Not just uh, not just the city of Lake, everybody. Well, and, and once again, I mean, I, I benefit from a talented uh, workforce as well. So uh, much of what I'm I'm doing in the in the city of Fitchburg is done with the assistance, and sometimes um, very directly um, with many of the the people that are associated with our our fire department. Um, I don't think I could have really. Uh, uh, accomplish this without the the assistance of my professional network and my family my personal network absolutely well congratulations either way on it and uh, uh we know we'll have you back on the show you know taking on that next project taking things forward and uh that's what we like about you here no oh, well I'm, it's nice to be liked <laughs> it's nice to be liked isn't it uh that is uh your fire chief here for fitchburg fire rescue uh joel povelmacher uh, congratulations to him and everybody on the fire department. Keep up the good work. Stay Thank safe you. out there. All right, we'll take a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg.